Wife who's look good tonight. Any of you who've been watching me on Twitch may have noticed there's a slight red happening in my apartment. And I apologize for this color. Not because I picked it, but because of the way the GoPro picks it up. It is a much more delicate red than the GoPro can handle. And it's beautiful. And these are the Veronas from Valencia Seating. They contacted me and said, hey, you do home theater stuff, right? And I'm like, yeah. Like, do you want to do some home theater seating? And I'm like yeah I'm like all right we're gonna send you two seats do you want red or black or not red hold on let me get the actual specific color these are because i was offered midnight black or venetian rosso and i'm like you know what black is boring if i'm gonna review home theater seats you send me the rosso give me the rosso and so we day did now this color i particularly enjoy especially if you have like a dedicated room I sort of don't have a dedicated room, but if you have a dedicated home theater, you got black carpeting, you got black walls, you got a white screen, a little bit of red seating isn't gonna hurt anybody. And I picked it because I figured it would come out nicer on camera and it sort of doesn't, it comes out very blood red. So I'll probably include, go look at the website to actually see what the, the Rosso looks like when you take it without a GoPro. And these are the most affordable that they make. Valencia Seating makes anything up to like stuff that, you know, Jay-Z has in his house. This is $6.50 a side. And they sent me two, and they're actually available on Amazon. They're on eSporters if you live in Canada. They're uh, available direct from their website if you want to call and do custom orders. There's a couple colors we'll go over. Actually, linked in the description of this video will be an Imgur gallery with all the different colors that are available. And if I am done with this one and I'm, I've decided to... Uh, donate these to a good cause. When I'm done with them, they are going to uh, DMS3 TV because he has no furniture. And I'm like, you know what you need? Red chairs. So he'll be coming up from Tennessee to grab these. Now, before you go, oh, Zeus, I love these. I'm going to order them immediately. I would like you to stop for a second and watch the unboxing videos that are in the description where I bring two boxes one containing the full chair. I believe this is the full chair with the both arms and one containing the add-on chair, which is one arm that slides in and clicks in place and bringing those up the steps. You see they're shipped almost fully assembled. The only thing that's not assembled is this back clicks on and then you just have a Velcro flap that you put down, line it up, done. So when you get the boxes, the boxes contain one entire seat and then one add-on seat. Now, I'm not sure if you can order just one seat, but you can order multiple patterns. So, you know, it's not just, oh, you can order two, uh, but Zeus, I want three, or I want a love seat. If you go to, well, Amazon has, let's see, 1300 for the row of two in either black or red, row of three, row of four, and row of five. So just imagine five of these lined up. And the row of five will cost you $32.49. It's the same with the black. They don't, don't believe the color changes. Color does not affect the price. Now, if you go to the actual Verona website and you look, they don't just show you like one in a row, two in a row, three in a row, four in a row, five in a row. You can come down here and you can see the configurations because you can do a row of two, a row of three, a row of four, a row of five, or for more money, they will send you a specialty seat so that you don't have the center, so that you could actually have a love seat, which is what I should have asked for, because if you're here with someone and you want, you know, don't need a third cup holder and you just want to be a little bit closer together, you don't have the space for two, you could just get a love seat configuration, or even a set of three where you get just a, a couch configuration, essentially. And let's see, move over. You could do a uh, left love seat, right love seat. This is the slowest thing. Double love seats, oh my God. And then what I'm probably gonna end up, if, if this company is willing to keep uh, sending me things to test, what I would like to eventually do is get that couch and just buy couch and have this configuration. Love seat center. So two seats in the center, no armrest just for two people. And then 
a whole seat to the side and a whole seat to the side. And I think that would be the absolute best configuration you could have. Love how it's still flipping through this. And of course I will link this. And there are accessories we have to talk about. Uh, I'd love to try the tablet holder. The tray table we have, I'll show you how the system works. Um, is it carbon fiber? I don't know, it's not that light. But it is well made. You know how I know it's well made? Because you just put it in these beautifully machined, these had plastic caps on them and you took them off and I peel that off. And just the, the machining on this. And it is a spring loaded center and you just go, that's it. And now you can sit down, swing this here. I've put full size laptops on. I could lean my, my arms on it. I could eat dinner on it. Fantastic. Spins out of the way if you don't want it there. Uh, the cup holders. Here's, let me just, I'm going to sort of bounce around because I'm ZS. And the seating is not exactly what I'm designed to review, but I'll talk about it anyway. This is machined Delrin. This is not a plastic cup holder that they just injection molded and they're done. You can see the machining marks on it. So it just feels better than what you would just expect to feel here. We'll get to why there's circuit boards in here because there's some, there's a blue problem. There's a, there's a blue problem with these seats, but we'll get to that. So you get three nice cup holders. They all pull out, obviously. If you have drinks in here, you have something spill, you don't want to leave it there forever, try to clean it, you just bring it to a sink. Not much in here, it's just a, uh, a fabric catch. Done. So, one of the accessories they sent me was this tray table, which is, um, I'm gonna probably get two more. They're not cheap, they're like $80 to add on, but they're strong. Like I would hold, I put 15 pounds on that, no problem. The other option, because I mean, let's face it, if you have gone off and you've spent, you know, $1,300 on a nice set of seats to sit and enjoy your your theater and you have just happen to have some coca divine which is a chocolate wine oh yeah baby oh that smells so good if you come here and you you don't have a soda or a big gulp cup and you want to sit down and you want to just enjoy your glass of wine well you're no peasant put your wine glass holder there now these are fully electric. I'll, I'll demonstrate on this side first, because I'm not in it. It will go fully out and recline. You can keep going and 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 push that down where you're sitting in it. So let me show what that looks like. Boom! Now it does have a wall hugging design. As you can see, when it's completely up versus when it's completely down, you're only got about three maybe four inches difference. So you can put them against the wall of a house. You don't have to have them sitting in the middle of the room like I do. Um, now, since they're motorized and they actually do recline, you do have to have power going to it. Now, here's where it gets a little weird and tricky and I'm like, ugh. Because each chair comes with its own power brick because each chair has its own motor assembly. And if they don't want to have three chairs going at once and you can't bridge them and you don't want the motors to blow, they each want to have to have their own power plug. I have been told, however, by the company, if you so desired for a few, I think it's $200, 250 it's, it's not cheap, but they sell battery packs that you literally put inside the bottom of the chair, because there's plenty of space in there. In there and in the bottom, there's a whole void that you can put a battery pack where you charge it. It lasts for 200 or 250 recline, unrecline cycles. And then you'd have to take it out and charge it again or bring a cord over to it to charge it. And that would probably be beneficial for something like my situation where it's not going against the wall. It's sitting in the middle of the room. I have to have an extension cord. I got to break it out. I got these boxes. Neato bot backs just keeps eating them. And it's like, ugh. if you don't have this problem, you don't have this problem. A lot of times they said people will put these in their home theater. Their home theater usually has a raised platform. That means they have basically a void underneath it. They can install power wherever they want. I'm just telling you how I have to deal with it because I'm a normal person and I'm assuming some of the people who are thinking about buying these are normal people as well. Now, I'm a big guy. Just like Bane said, you're a big guy. No, that was Littlefinger. And I've been 
I think the word would be abusing these chairs because I I'm trying to break them. I want them to fail. I want to tell you that I've sat in these chairs for now a month and a half and every time I do this up and down and up and down it gets worse or squeaky or it stops being as smooth or quiet. It, it never does. I've had a guest sit here in this chair and she was going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, while well, we're watching a movie because she wanted me to punch her in the face, I think. And I didn't stop her because I want to see the unit break. I want to see what your seven-year-old child's going to do when he's going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And it never, it never stops. It just, it's just perfectly fine every time. I've actually looked at the mechanism. We'll look at the mechanism. We'll flip this over. And it's a very simple one motor does the whole action. It does legs first. If I'm sitting back, ignore the squeaky noises. That's just leather being cleaned. There. I have full leg out and the back is sunk but not reclined. And that's usually the way I watch movies when I bring my projection screen down. And if you want to go further than this, you go just until you see ceiling and nothing but ceiling. So, um, one of the things I did do, and I was sort of like, hold on, let me have a drink of my chocolate wine. <gasps> Oof, that is so good. So the peg system here is universal, goes into all of these. And you could put a glass of wine and a soda. I've been using these a lot um, for one of my favorite things, which is, I have a, these by the way are all storage. And I have been eating just gobs of Hershey's Kisses and using this as like my garbage bin for that. So, I mean, if I haven't sold you, like people are just like, wait, does he have a, a, a thing filled with Hershey's Kisses? I will demonstrate. Zio's goes in depth. You eat and you just do like that. So now I got my glass of wine. I got a place to put my Hershey's Kisses garbage. If I had that on this side, flip it around, keep my phone on it, keep the remotes on it. I will say this, and this has been a, a slight disappointment. These cup holders, as nice as they are, as nice as the machining is on them, both an iPhone and my Moto Z in a case do not fit in here. I know some of you are going to buy these chairs and be very upset by that fact that you cannot just plop your phone in there. That's not a problem at most movie theaters, but it is in these particular seats. So what else are we going to look at? We should look at the system, the mechanism, how comfortable are these EOS? Okay. This is a very, look at the, look, just, just. They're some of the better built seats I've seen. I've sat in a couple of them, the people have bought them, and I'm just like, the stitching right here, the line, the thickness, how soft it is. There's just no, there's no seam issues. The only problem I've actually seen is this, this door here, which is where it was keeping the thing, just lines up a little bit more left than it should. That's it. And that's after unpacking it and cutting off a truck and rolling up my steps and oh my god. Um, when you get them, if you see in the videos where I unbox it, it's literally just the back part here is not clicked in. So that's the only assembly. You take the chair out of the box, you take the back, you install it, you open the Velcro up in the back, you find the little connector, you plug it in. If there's any accessories, I ship it inside the unit. Uh, I think it's time to take this off and actually show you what the mechanism looks like, which is going to suck because that means I have to take it off the furniture sliders. I do have these on furniture sliders because I have to move things around. Okay, that's just going to whine a little bit. Can't sue V in review, apparently, someone's telling me. Um, really interesting having space here because I don't usually keep my remotes in it. I keep random things. I keep tail light repair tape. We'll get to the reason for this in a second. I keep my Hershey's Kisses archive. And this side, obviously, slide whistle. 
and a couple extra magazines in case you know shit goes crazy you just want to have those in there so let's take this apart a little bit good 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 the mechanism that attaches these well let's just show you the mechanism that attaches them I should be able to lift I forget which one is the loose one I guess this is the loose one I couldn't even remember that's how well it just it's been together this whole time is it here there we go that's mildly annoying why is my roast whining? So here's the individualized chair and there's the add-on chair. And we'll push this to the side and you'll see that I have furniture sliders under it. For those of you who watch Z reviews regularly, you'll know that I freaked out and unplugged my sous -vide. I need a flashlight, here we go. Now it's still plugged in. The system to connect the two chairs together is rather simple. There is a triangular. <laughs> See how strong. There is a triangular piece of metal here that sticks down. It's higher than the legs of the chair. The legs of the chair are rubber, and that prevents them from sliding, which is good, but at the same time, I want to move the chairs around so I have some furniture sliders. And you can see there's another one of those units on that side. And it's just a triangle. Basically, this folds in. And when you want to attach another seat to the, your seat, you fold it out and it has teeth that are spring-loaded. And you can release them like that. And you just go click, 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 click. You push the two chairs together. It will adjust for any miscalculation you have. And then you have two chairs touching or five chairs touching or honestly you could have an infinite number of chairs put together here is the mechanism let's open it up and I will show you what you're fixing to get I'll go all the way the only part of this chair that feels cheap by the way I want to point this out now while I'm on my knees is this control panel it's not quite as nice as a cup holder. It's plastic. It's okay. USB port for charging things, which is actually coming really handy. If you don't have a place to charge your iPhone, boom. You know, I actually charge my GoPro batteries here a lot. This light button, which turns on blue LEDs, and we'll show you where. And these two buttons, which, while they're flush mounted, if you are uh, squeezed sideways in the seat or not quite sitting straight or sit on your own foot, you will accidentally push those. And the seat will go up or down. So let's go. Let's go down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, metal. Come over here, metal. Look at the beauty of that. Can I get this up higher? So here's the motor assembly. There's the guide rail. And if you look down here, you see all these red squares. That was me trying to fix some, some issue. Let me hit the issue. Hit the issue button, Zeos. Oh God. Anyway, those are blue LEDs and those are covered blue LEDs. So I take off the covers. They are insanely bright. Now, luckily you don't have to use the LEDs. You just don't turn them on. However, I do like the lit cup holders. Ooh, a lot of space down here. Hide a lot of things. Just, just point that out. I like the controls being lit I actually am okay with this being lit blue I'm okay with it I'm absolutely okay with it the problem is that on not covered chair I'm gonna slide that over I'm gonna expose Alexa all lights off I want, I want to see if you can get this let's see if you can get get this Okay, we, we, we grasped how blue are we talking? That's insanely blue. Insanely blue. So I like, the, again, I like the cup holder. So take that out. Yeah, a little blue, but you take this, put it back in. That's nice. It's just, it's just, it's nice. And what I recommend, and I will link in the description, is something that I've figured out to fix the blue problem. 
I tried to fix it with that tail light repair tape and it dulled it to the point where I could actually use the chairs with the legs up without blotting out my projection screen with bright blue. But I think just standard old electrical tape and just put it across there because there's no off switch for that. Alexa, all lights 100. Sorry if you have an Amazon Echo, I have just not made your day. Where did I put my wine? More chocolate wine. Mm. Hmm, I'm not sure. That's fine, baby girl. Anyway, I like these seats. I like them a great deal. The only issue I had was when I tried to get out of one, while it was slightly reclined like that, is you throw the center of gravity way forward. If you're sitting in the chair, you got no problem. As soon as you're laying like that, and you try to sit up, you will tip the chair forward. So, either you don't do that, which was pretty easy to figure out the very first time it happened, or, uh, and I talked to them about this, it was like, if you wanted to anchor the back of the chair down, you could do that as long as you could bolt into the floor. There are, there is metal and wood right here on the back of the chair that you could just, you know, go in there and build a U-bracket or something and bolt it into the floor and that wouldn't happen. It's just something that happened to me and I just want to tell you, so if you decide that, oh, my chair's inclined, but I want to get up and get a drink, spend the time, set the chair back to normal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and get the hell out of the chair. If, if it was a mechanism I thought was gonna break, because I'm one of those people who doesn't like touching things over and over again because I'm afraid it's gonna be the last time it works, I've not had a single hiccup with the mechanism of these chairs. They just work. They just be recline, and you get up, and you recline, and you get up. Uh, the fact that they're like temporary in my living room is, is why I haven't bolted them to the floor. If I had these chairs, they would be bolted to the floor, and I would have the blue LEDs completely covered in the front so I could leave these on all the time. Just leave the cup holders on. I wish they had a different color option for those. Red would be cool, especially on a red chair or black chair or any other chair. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would be that hard to change the color. They're not RGB. I feel like in their highest level seat, they should just make it RGB because those have crazy amounts of controls. So now if I wanted to put these back together, which let's do that. As long as I have that lined up and we should be able to hear it click. That's it. Chairs are now back together. Honestly, I, I paid as much for these as I did for my couch. So if you're looking at something, this is cooler than a couch. Is it more comfortable than a couch? Well, that's depending on the way you sit. Some people need to sit on their legs, some people need to sit sideways, some people can't sit straight forward. I rather enjoy sitting here and watching movies and Mob Psycho episode eight, inside joke, joke. So I encourage all of you to consider uh, uh, Verona's from Valencia seating. They are the bottom of the line, but God damn, I can't tell. Like that's just, what? I've sat in way worse. These are way better than I expected. In the meantime, let me hit this. I will show you around one more time. We've got all the colors. Here are the colors that they offer if you contact them directly. And it's, I think, a two month wait. If you buy them from Amazon, you buy the colors that are there. You buy them from eSporters, you got the colors that are there. If you want to order a set and any of their line, they have like seven or eight different types of chair, this being the bottom of the line cheapest. Dark chocolate. Stormy Night, which is like a, that's brown, that's like a dark gray. Quicksilver is a light gray. Elegant White is an off-white cream. Sandy Beige is Sandy Beige. Roast Chestnut is my favorite. It looks like the interior of like a peanut butter leather BMW. And I love that. Tangerine Dream. I would have loved to have gotten these in Tangerine Dream instead of the red because it's just like an orange and I would love to see an orange set. The Venetian Rosso, which is that, and I promise you, promise you, they are not as red in real life as they are on camera. 
It's just GoPros can't handle it. The crimson wine, which is a burgundy, which is more of a classic color and probably fit into every decor. And of course, midnight black. So make your decisions, see if your SOs will allow it. And then for the love of God, if you do get these, just, just cut two, pe two feet of electrical tape and be like, no blue down here. No blue. Blue in the cup holders I can live with. Blue down there is a no. <sighs> Tablet holders, batteries, what else am I missing? Oh, um, these will not be in a yard sale. I've decided to dedicate them to a much more useful cause, which is DMS 3 TV has no place to sit. So he will be coming up from Tennessee and picking these up and hopefully he can enjoy them while making his videos, which are way better edited than mine. Um, he has one coming out, however, that I've given him the raw footage to edit and I'll let him credit himself in that because I don't want to review another bidet and I did and then I want him to edit it. So thank you for stopping by. If there's anything else missing about these, there's, I think, I forget what the warranty is. There's a, there's like a, a crazy warranty on them too, but I'll, I'll just link to the thing. Two piece, easy to move, wall hogging design, lost southern motor, solid wood frame, additional lumbar padding, LED cup holders. Hmm, I guess it depends on where you order it from. But yes, finally, finally you know what the deal is with these red seats. So now that you've seen them, do you want them? Do you want them in this color? Do you want them in blue? Tell me what color you'd get it in. And also, if you have a set of home theater seats, what are they? How long have they lasted? G give me give me information, because I'm gonna I want to try another set, a higher end set, and I want to try it in a custom color. And that probably won't happen until you know middle of spring. But uh, thank you for stopping by. Wallpaper in the description. Um, these in the description, and me. I'll be here tomorrow. All of this work for one day. I hope you enjoyed it.